What about um, one tenth plus two fifths? I know how to one add two. that. How? How, Amir? Because you can just change them because five plus five equals ten. Five plus five equals ten. Okay. So you can turn it into that and add the tops. So, so go ahead. Tell me, tell me what to do, Amir. Um, just turn that five, turn that five into a ten. Turn the five into a ten. Oh. How does that change the top? Uh, and so three tenths. Okay, so this is the one tenth, and then I just write the two down here. Is that right, Amir? Actually, I think that would be yeah. one-tenth, too. You think that would be one-tenth, yeah. And, Tay, what do you think the two-fifths turns into? Um, I think the, the cheese-fifths turn into a one. So that's going to be one-tenth. One plus one, I know what it is. Okay. So two-tenths. So the answer here is going to be? Two-tenths. Two-tenths. So in other words, when you take one-tenth and you add two-fifths to it, you get two-tenths. Right? I really don't think you can just take a 5 and turn it into a 10. I'm afraid you're right. You can't just, you can't just turn the 5 into a 10 and then turn the... I, what happened here? We turned the 2 into a 1? Yeah. Hmm. What, what should we do here? <gasps> I know! I know! What, what I'm here? Um, erase all of that first. Erase all of it. I'm going to erase all of it, including my arrow. Okay. Ready? Ready. Um, how you do it is for you count, but now you count by ten, okay. and then count by fives, and see if there's a match. Good. And then you put that on the bottom, and you do the same with the tops. Sounds good to me. Well, let's count by tens, and then count by fives. How many tens does it take to go from this zero to ten? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, okay. sixty. 70, 80, oh, you're going 90, so far beyond me. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, Kalina, Kalina, could you count by fives, and I'll do the fives on top, and see if we ever land up on the same place. Oh, yeah. Wait a second, wait a second, Kalina. Five, ten. Oh, ten. Five, was well, there zero, then five. Did you say ten? Yeah. So we have a match right away. Um, just so you here. know, each time Can you just put this you just over need to go 5, ten, over here, and it'll what? go 15, 20, and yes. 20 will always be a match, and it'll always go on every, um, what, after you say, like, in the fives, right. it'll go to a matching number. Good. So look, if the fives, going along by five, land us on 10 here, mm, that what, doesn't what? make sense. There's What's no the number between the zero and the ten. Well, that's because we were counting by tens down here, we were taking giant steps of ten each time. Ten, another ten, another ten, another ten. Here we were going by five steps. Five, 20, 20, ten, 20. fifteen, twenty. Yeah. I think that the idea was, was this right? To get, the, get a number that both ten and five fit into? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what's a number that both ten... <coughs> And five. Ten, yeah. and twenty, and thirty, and forty, and fifty, and all the ten all, numbers. All, all the ten numbers, including ten. Yeah. Amir, um, what shall I do with this? We've got a real idea here for a way now of adding these two things up. But I'm not sure what the idea is. Nathan's it must be twenty, man. It must be twenty. Let's, let's do it. Because um, if we did ten, that would be the same thing. Good. So let's do twenty. How many times does 10 fit into 20? Wait, first, now we have we to do the tops. OK, good. Let's do the tops now. 1 tenth is how many 20ths? 1 tenth. Mm. Mm. How many what do you think, Harris? <gasps> what is that, Tay? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm puzzled. Tay, what do you think? I think it should be probably 20 20ths. So one tenth will be the same as twenty twentieths. Okay, twenty twentieths. By the way, what's three thirds? Three thirds. Three thirds is uh, half of the cake. Three thirds is half of the cake. Actually, so three thirds is I think a more whole than a cake. 
A whole cake. Oh, it's a whole cake. If you break the cake up into three thirds, three different thirds, and take all of them and eat, eat them all, oh, what kind of cake is it? Um, oh, what kind? A whole. Oh, it's a whole cake. Okay, I was thinking it was a chocolate cake. But anyway, <laughs> the three thirds make one, and uh, seven sevenths makes how much? Uh, the whole cake. And twenty twentieths makes uh, the whole cake. Okay. Yeah, so twenty twentieths is it, one. Um, no, it yeah. always so adds. Up wait, wait a sec, go ahead, Tech. Uh, always, um, if you do, um, um, the, um, the one, the, like, let's say there is one slash one, it would, uh, it would always equal up to a whole. It would always equal up to a whole if it's, um, fraction itself. Good, good, good. So, one-tenth probably isn't the same as twenty-twentieths, because twenty-twentieths, is a whole. Uh, yeah, uh, let me take Nathan's suggestion first about the cake. Draw the cake, um, and you want the cake broken up into how many pieces, Nathan? Um, for, for this problem. The cake, first the cake broken up into 10 pieces. Good. I think I can do that. It's and not going to be very in, accurate, but I'll try. And she did one of the One, pieces. 10 pieces. Now Seven. what? Now, shade in one eye. Shade in one of the pieces. So there is one tenth. Now, now make a cake and break it into, and make it into five pieces. Terrific. Break it up into five pieces. Same old cake, different picture of it, broken up into five pieces. One, one two, fifth. three, four, five. Now we need to put the five. Wait. Yeah. I now think we have wait, wait, got wait. it. It's because um, one fifth, one fifth is um, two tenths. <gasps> wow. One fifth is two tenths. How do you get that to? It's because um, five plus five is ten, and if you take a fraction, it would be the same way. Oh, that's terrific. So one fifth is two tenths. Two fifths. Be careful. Is it should be um, I think four tenths. Is that right? Two fifths. What do you think, Sam? Yeah. Mm. No. Two fifths is four tenths. Lachlan, what do you think? Is if one yeah. fifth is two tenths? Yeah, two is fifths. Two fifths. Is four it is four tenths. Yeah. Is that okay, Lachlan? Mizuki, what do you think? Two fifths, four tenths. Yeah. Yeah. Does that seem right? Sounds a lot right to me. Fifths are bigger than tenths. Okay. So here's this one tenth, just the same the way it was. One tenth, and the two fifths turned out to be. Sorry, how many tenths? Um, two fifths. I think it is four tenths. Four, four tenths. tenths. So, four tenths. adding. So a tenth and two fifths. That would fifths. be five tenths. It would be five tenths. Terrific. Is that more than a whole cake or less? Um, that's um less. less. Yeah, Good. less. How much of a cake is it? Uh, five parts of a five half tenths. of the cake. Half. Great color. Half of a cake. Yeah. Wonderful. One tenth plus two fifths Can is five be tenths. Half of the cake? Or we could call it. One half. That's great. Or right, what else can we call it? Well, what else two can you call it? Two fourths. Most of it down. Could call it two fourths. Um, we just need to find out ways to call a half. Or yes. I'm writing yes. most of it down. Okay. Uh, if you want to call uh, you it. You forgot to do your fancy two and a half up there. Oh yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong kind of two. All right. Yeah. They're very strict with me about this. If you wanted to call it a certain number of um, twelfths, how many twelfths would it be? Fancy two. One half is how would many twelfths? would be four twelfths. Four twelfths, is that right? One half is four twelfths? Yeah, if you've got twelve things, how much is half of them? Perhaps the didn't tell. What okay. was the answer to the problem? I'm not even sure what the question was. The question is, if you wanted to write one half, you could write it as five tenths or two fourths or a certain number of twelfths. If you've got twelve oh, things. I'm thinking of the last problem. 
Um, it was that one tenth plus two fifths yeah. turned out to be five tenths, or one half, or two fourths, or a certain number of twelfths. So how many twelfths is it? I don't know. Let's figure it out. It's half of twelve. Oh, you start writing twelve. Yeah, six. Six. It's yeah. six. Terrific. Six twelve. You want to try or or another kind of thing? What would you like? Another kind of fraction. What if I wanted a certain number of fourteenths? One half. Half of fourteen is. is oh, how about twelve um, six seven? Absolutely. Twelve fourteenths. Yeah, right. Uh, Terrific. Okay. Well, we understand. Right. What about thirteenths? Ooh, that's a mean question. <laughs> mean. Yeah. yeah, what do you think, Colleen? Uh, mean. Six. Six, because six and six makes 13. Yeah. Right, so let's just check that. Um, we want half, one half of 13, and we think it might be six. Or because, seven. Or, or, or seven. It's either it's six or seven or something like that. Yeah. Six and six is how much? Twelve. So six is wrong. It's a little short. Seven and seven is how much? Fourteen. Oh, uh, it's too big. Yeah. <gasps> oh, seven and seven is fourteen. Yeah. So we don't want... Seven plus six. We don't want seven. We want the thirteen split into two equal parts. It could be seven and six. That would be nice. Thirteen is not an even yes. number. It's not an even number. So what do we do? How do we get half of it? Not six and not seven. Six is too small. Seven is too big. We're never going to get half of this. In fact, we probably can't do this problem. Yes, we can do this problem. How do you know? Mm. Anything because is possible. possible. Because anything is possible. Yeah. Right. We could split one of the... Wait, we could be half. Uh, yeah. We could say... Hmm. Yeah, go ahead, Nathan. One of the, the one that has seven in it. Yep. Into... And, and then... And then we'll split one of the seven, one of the ones in the seven, and oh, what share a great, between. That's a great idea. You take the six, take one of the ones in the seven, and split it yeah. in half. So we split it in half, and we take well, those don't really look like halves, do they? And take yeah. one of them. And no, share. Share it with the six. Like yeah. that? Well, what's that number? That number is seven. Uh, it was seven, but I took the... Yes, yeah, so it's seven, I mean six and a half. It's six and a half. Tay, it's almost what you wanted with a fraction over a fraction. It's six and a half thirteenths. Funny thing to say, but it looks right. <laughs>